To discuss this uh, latest conflict surrounding Pakatan, we have on the line UUM Associate Professor uh, Dr. Ahmad Martada Muhammad. Assalamualaikum, Professor. Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, my first question was, the, uh, what's the probability of PAS uh, leaving Pakatan Rakyat given this uh, latest development? Uh, I don't think it is very likely that PAS will leave Pakatan Rakyat, you know, because there are voices within PAS, you know, particularly that want PAS to stay within Pakatan Rakyat. You know, they have a long history and their main goal is to win Putrajaya. So I don't, I don't think, uh, and it is not likely that PAS will leave Pakatan Rakyat at this moment. Because I think uh, the greater goal is uh, to uh, wrestle the Putrajaya. And I think uh, every component party in Pakatan Rakyat knows that. And, I, and PAS is consistent with that goal from the very beginning. Right. PKR and uh, DAP, Professor, are reportedly uh, looking at PASMA, a PAS splinter group, to join the coalition if PAS decides to leave. Do you think uh, that this new party would be able to uh, fill the void left by PAS? Uh, I don't think so. You know, PASMA is a splinter group. It is a newly established uh, NGO and it doesn't have uh, as many supporters as PAS. So it will take some time before this splinter group will have a greater impact. Uh, if they decide to join with other members of Pakatan Rakyat. But looking at the crisis today, I don't think uh, that uh, PAS or PKR or even DAP are looking into that option yet, you know, because the crisis, uh, even if it is very serious, but I don't think they are looking at a new party to replace PAS if PAS decides to leave Pakatan or even Pakatan Rakyat decides uh, not to take pass anymore with the coalition of Pakatan Rakyat. To your opinion, Professor, uh, without pass in Pakatan Rakyat, what are the um, opposition coalition's chances of uh, capturing Putrajaya in the next general election? Very slim, you know, because pass has a stronghold in Malay states, you know, such as Kelantan, Terengganu and Kedah, and they are making inroads in states like Perak, Penang, and uh, Negeri Milan, and also Johor. So without PAS, uh, Pakatan Rakyat does not have any uh, opportunity at all to wrestle Putrajaya or win, win the general election. So they know, I think Pakatan Rakyat, the component parties, know that they really need PAS in order for them to wrestle Putrajaya. And at this moment, I think they will try very hard to make sure that PAS will not leave Pakatan Rakyat. I think there's a strong probability they will try to find uh, some kind of mechanism where they can sit together, discuss what can they do in order to strengthen the Pakatan Rakyat. So at this moment, I don't think uh, Pakatan Rakyat, uh, in terms of strengthening the coalition party, I know they will make sure that PAS remains with Pakatan Rakyat. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor, on your insight. That was uh, UUM Associate Professor Dr. Uh, Ahmad Matada Muhammad.